if you own territory, a vast swath of land, and you're doing nothing to it, and someone comes and squats on it and spends a lot of time improving it, at some point they actually develop a valid legal claim to the property itself. And so it, it, there seems to be something intrinsic to our notion of valid ownership that if you're going to occupy a territory, you actually have to do something with it that's productive. And so that's, that's at least part of the claim you're making at the moment to buttress the notion that the Jewish people have a valid claim to the present territory. Well, and there it, were a lot of movement back and forth. Yes, but but the Jews have actually taken the land and made something of it. Well, I'm saying something else though. I'm saying that they held the land for two thousand years, were kicked out. The Arabs came and conquered it and immediately lost it to others and did nothing with it. The right. others did nothing with it. So it was basically they took over my apartment. Okay, <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. They, the guys who took over, who basically kicked me out, were kicked out themselves. The apartment was left barren. And many uh, decades, in this case, centuries later, I come back to this barren mess, okay, this ruin, and I build it up back. And I, I not only improve it, I not only make my ownership based on improvement, but that nobody else did anything with it. There was, there was no someone else. There practically were no tenants. Right. There. That's my argument. 